So let's talk about linking our courses to Sys and then cross-listing our courses inside of Canvas. Before we can do anything, we need to link our Canvas courses to Sys. In order to do that, it's actually very easy. I'm gonna to come to Sys360, so the new Sys as we call it. And I've already linked all my courses except for 7th Hour here. So I'm gonna come down, this is my 7th Hour Personal Finance. And I'll just jump in the grade book real quick. And I'll come down to the bottom where the Canvas button is. And I'll click on Canvas. And I'll get a list of all my courses. So since this is my seventh hour personal finance, I just come down, I find personal finance seven, and I click select. Now I don't need to import any assignments because there are no assignments to import. So I'll go ahead and click cancel. And now that course is linked. I need to make sure that all my courses are linked before I cross list. Now let's talk about what in the world cross listing is. I'm gonna go back to my Canvas dashboard. And you can see I have three personal finance courses, fifth hour, sixth hour, and seventh hour. What I wanna do is I wanna be able to take these courses and essentially merge them into one. Now, while I say merge, that's not really the technical term because I am keeping them separate. Sixth hour will still be separate from fifth hour and seventh hour and so on, but they will live inside of one Canvas course, even though there are three different sections. This is gonna be really helpful when I wanna push out things like assignments to my different courses. It's also important to note that when I do this, when I cross list one of these hours into my other hour, one of these little tiles down here is gonna disappear. So I shouldn't get upset about that. I can still get to those students separately and I can still target those students separately with assignments or anything else. But this tile right here will actually disappear. So let's see what I wanna do. I wanna get this personal finance sixth hour into my personal finance fifth hour. I wanna cross list those two together. Before you do this, double check that you've already linked them in SIS. If you haven't linked them in SIS, stop right now and go do that. Now, just to show you what I'm doing, I'm gonna open up this personal finance fifth hour and I'm gonna come down here to my settings and I'm gonna take a look at this SIS ID. 290597. That way I know it's its own course. And if I were to click on this blue link, I could be able to see my students who are already enrolled. But what I'm doing is I'm going to link the sixth hour into the fifth hour. So I'll go back to my dashboard. This is a sixth hour that I want to go into the fifth hour. So I'm going to open up my sixth hour. I'm gonna come down to settings. I'm gonna to go to sections. Now notice how this is section 598. I'm gonna put 598 into 597. So to do this, I'm gonna click on the blue link. I'm gonna to come to the right hand side and I'm gonna choose cross list this section. And it says, which section do you wanna cross list into? I could search for my course. Okay, there's personal finance five. Make sure you're getting the right hour. And I could double check my course number down here. It's saying you're going to cross list this course that I'm in, which is personal finance six, into personal finance five. And just to double check, here's that number from SIS. So I'm double checking. Yes, that is the course number that I want to go into. So I'm gonna choose cross list this item. So I'll click on cross list. It tells me that it's successful. So I can jump back to the dashboard. And lo and behold, there is no more personal finance six. I've got five and I've got seven, but there is no six. Well, that's not true because if I were to jump into this course so this is five, remember this is the one we put the one into. I'll go to my settings. And there I can see both personal finance five and personal finance six. I could click on either one of these and see the rosters. And more importantly, 
If I were to go to an assignment and just create an assignment, and I would fill it in as normal. When I come down here to the assign, if I click in this box, now I get a course of personal finance five, personal finance six. So if I were creating assignments, I would have to create one assignment and then I could easily, with a click of a button, put that inside both of my sections. All right, I still have one more to do. I'm gonna cancel out of this because I don't need that assignment. I still have to do one more. I'm gonna take personal finance seven and put that inside of here as well. So let's run through it one more time. I'm in five. This is the course I want to cross list into. I'll check that setting again. That number is 597. I'll go back to my dashboard. I'll come down to personal finance seven. I'll click on it. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and find my settings. Go to sections, click on the blue link. Now remember this is number 563. I'm gonna click on the blue link. The enrollments pop up. I'll go to the right hand side and choose cross list this section. And once again, I can start searching. Personal finance up here. So if I just type in PER slash, there you go. Personal finance five, that's the one I'm going into. Double check that number, 597. And I'll click cross list this section. It tells me that it's been done successfully. I'll go back to my dashboard. I should see that the cards for personal finance six and personal finance seven are gone. They are now listed inside of personal finance five and I can verify that if I open it up. Check my settings. There's five, there's six, there's seven. If I were to start an assignment, click an assignment, and I'm just gonna double check real quick. Come down to the assignment area, five, six, and seven, so I'm good there. I'll cancel that. And then let's double check the grade book as well. If I go to the grade book, right now I see sorta everybody. So I can come up to view, I can do filter by sections. And then it says which sections, and I can go class by class to see what hours are there. And that's how you can cross list and manage your courses inside of Canvas.